Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 17. This doesn't look good. We've got all the stuff in the sale pile. Uh, so yeah, let's talk about this. So, the trees turned out to be more glitchier uh, than normal trees. So, we really don't need the Scorpion King. We really don't need the, uh, the wheel loader anymore because these trees... They're not the big trees like we had up north. These are more of the smaller type trees. We do have some poplars back in the background. I don't know if I'll cut them or not. But these trees are the small trees, and they're harder to pick up with the wheel loader. So we're going to get rid of that. But uh, take a look at, uh, can you kind of see it back there in the back? we got the robot in here. What's that? Wait a minute. What's that doing in here? Well, we're fixing to find out what that's doing in here. Let's sell this stuff first. Let's sell the wheel loader. Uh, I guess we got to repair it first. That stinks. So 147654 $49. Yeah, that's not much. All right, we got that sold. Made a little bit of money back there. Going to sell the old Scorpion King, buy Scorpion King. Let's repair it for 179 first and sell it. All right, and let's sell the uh, log fork. And uh, we're going to go ahead and sell the robot. Now, you might be thinking, wait a minute. You still got trees to cut. How are you going to grind stump out? Well, we're going to get to that in just a second. I got to show you guys something. We're going to sell that back for 28000 This is for the uh, robot for the, the tractor that we've been using. All right, let's tab back over here. Here we are. So basically, I've been working on loading logs, um, putting a few in the trailer, and I've been cutting them, just cutting them in half because pretty much that's where the Scorpion King cut them. We only get two pieces out of one tree. Uh, and then I ran into a problem. Ran into this. Um, yeah, so basically, the trees float here on Wilker. Um, at least this one did. And, um, I'm thinking, okay, how do I do this? So I pulled the truck out here before I laid all these other logs down beside it. I pulled the truck out here and I stood on top of the cab and whipped out my old chainsaw and, uh, basically cut the tree. And then after I cut the tree and it fell to the ground, I'm like, uh, how do I grind the stump out? I tried cutting it with the chainsaw. That didn't work. Tried all that. That didn't work. Uh, so we've just got this floating stump that uh, really can't be reached with the, uh, the wheel loader too well. Um, so I was like, well, I'll have to think about that one. So then I did some more cutting, cut some more trees, cut all the way back here. Got all this kind of opened up now. And, um... I know you guys are saying, well, you still got stumps on the ground. Why in the world did you sell the robot? Well, I got to cutting more trees, and then I came across this. And I'm thinking, oh, man, this is really like some exorcist-type stuff or, uh, you know, maybe the craft or something. I don't know. This is very weird. But uh, these trees, this one's actually higher than the other one. And uh, I can't stand on the cab of the truck and cut that tree. But then it begs into the question again, how do we grind the stumps out once we cut them? I mean, they're floating way up in the air. I mean, I, I, this is really scary. I mean, it's almost like there's a like a possession going on. Maybe these woods are haunted or something. I don't know. But uh, maybe since we took the gold over there, maybe that was some, you know, train robber's gold and the ghost is coming back and now he's possessing the trees. I don't know. We can't really come up with a story for this one, guys, other than the trees are... Uh, are glitched pretty bad so what do we do what's the solution well I thought about it and I decided the best solution is to buy a robot now wait a minute you're saying hang on okay hang on you just sold the robot well I did but I'm gonna buy another version of it uh, we are gonna buy before we actually buy the robot we're gonna buy a telehandler I think you guys know where I'm going with this now uh, we're going to buy a telehandler. I personally like the New Holland. Um, I've been using it quite a bit on other maps. Um, and I like it. I like, I like the New Holland brand. Uh, nothing wrong with these other brands. These two, the Liebherr and the JCB, this one's actually articulated. Uh, if they had the other JCB that's not articulated, I'd probably pick it. But since this is articulated, I'm going to skip that one. Um, the Liebherr doesn't quite have the reach that the others have, and, uh, that leaves it down to the Mena, Menatu, um, and the, uh, the New Holland. Um, and now it just comes down to per personal preference, and the, the New Holland is, I think, about, $3,000 cheaper. 
So we're going to go New Holland. So we'll buy that for 105. We made 1361, or we were up to 1,316, I should say, uh, after selling that equipment. And now we're down to 1.256 million. So we own that now. We need to go buy another robot. Now we need this for the telehandler. And three point, there it is, telehandler tool right there. It's going to cost the same amount of money. Um, I don't remember exactly what we got back for that other one. I don't think it was quite that much, but we had used it quite a bit. So, all right, so let's head over to the thing here. There's our header. We need to uh, come get that. I guess I, I'm just going to see if we can leave it there until the harvest. Maybe they'll let us leave it there and come pick it up then. Alright, so here, this should be the solution. Now, I should be able to cut those trees using this tool as well. Or maybe not using this tool, using this machine. So we got the telehandler. And we are going to go over here and see what we can do. I think this is going to be a good investment since we have uh, issues with the trees here. All right, let's get to see if we can get this one first. We can turn our lights on here so we can see real well. Get kind of closer to it here. There we go. And hopefully this should work. Let's get a little closer. A little closer. There we go. And this should work. Got to hit it just right, I think. That's not, that must not be the trigger. There we go. Now maybe. Yeah. All right. It's gone. So that did work. So let's see if we can get out of here. We can go down here to these others. I made a mess with all these trees out here, but we're getting them loaded up. It's just slower. It's a slower process when you have to uh, pick them up one at a time with the, uh, the case hook. Now, what am I going to do here? Basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to kind of level this arm out and you see the uh, the top part of the robot here I'm gonna use that as a platform now don't try this at home because I'm pretty sure this is not what it was meant to be made for you know but I'm gonna bring that up to where it's about level with the uh, about level with the tree I'm gonna get right up close to the tree here and then I'm gonna hop out of this and climb this area yeah, this is not what you actually do here kids so uh, don't try this at home if you're actually using heavy equipment and logging so, let's see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. Now, see, they're not glitched trees either. That's the thing. These are, at least this one is. I don't know about the other two. This is a nice, perfect tree, and uh, it's got the trigger set just right. So, we'll go ahead and cut this. And it should fail. Probably should have failed it the other way, but too late now. All right, now, we can't do anything else with the stump. So, let's slide back down to the handler here. Now I should be able to raise this up high enough to grind that out. Oh yeah, we're already on the trigger. Or were. Hang on. There we go. It's gone. Alright, so that's how we do the the trees with floating trees here, I guess. Uh, let's see if we can get these others cut. Yeah, they need to update this map. You shouldn't have to do this. Uh, it does take time out of your schedule and we've got to hurry because planting season is coming up soon and I want to do some missions so I can buy some fields uh, I am not close enough let me get a little closer right about there okay get down here fill this that way Probably need to get a little lower on the trunk for the next one. Now I have looked. There might be some more floating trees out there somewhere. That could be one back that way. See them? The ones that are a little bit taller, I think, are the uh, floating trees. But it's hard to tell because it's so uh, so thick in here. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to grind that stump out. Let me grind that out first.
And magic is just like magic. Boom, it's gone. All right. Let's get over to this tree. Let me turn that off so I don't accidentally cut the tree with the robot. Don't want to do that. Because I want to take these and sell them. I think we make, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to think here about, how much do we make on these trees, these little bitty ones? I think we make about a thousand dollars on them. I think I did a test on them one time, once upon a time, and make about a thousand. Oh, oh, I may fall off. I may fall off. Hang on. Oh, this is a glitchy one, so get ready, guys. This thing may go flying. Or jump up or something. Oh yeah, it went flying. At least it went flying straight to the ground. Slide back down. Probably shouldn't do that with a chainsaw open. Grind that stump out there. And it's gone. Alright, and then uh, of course all the other stumps here, you know, we can retract this back in and bring this down and grind out the rest of the stumps here with this just like so I'll do one just to demonstrate I mean it's just like we got it on the front of our tractor all right so that's pretty much it uh, let me shut this off turn the lights off we'll come back to the uh, the telehandler but I think that's gonna be a good investment um, and like I said I'm just gonna cut all the rest of them down with a chainsaw the Scorpion King is just, it's so hard to, to deal with those glitchy trees. And even if they are, just, you know, won't take the limbs off of them, they're still difficult to deal with. So, we'll uh, get the limbs trimmed off of those. I'm going to go ahead and continue loading up here. Because we're going to take this down and sell it. This load. And you know, I had talked about getting a... Uh, another logging trailer to hook up behind that I don't know if I want to or not um, I haven't decided I might still do it I might not it wouldn't I mean it's not like we couldn't do it because the sell point is you know I think it's accessible to two trailers I think it would be but it costs money and money we don't really have uh, let's see, I need to get up here. I've been doing this kind of, I've been doing it three at a time, so I'll load three and then I'll cut them, but the, the, the pile is getting kind of thick here. So I'm just going to do them every time I load one. And then what I do is I kneel, and then when I see the trigger flash, I uh, kind of grab it just like that, and then um, we'll cut that in half, and I think we get a little more money if we cut them in half. So really should probably grind these stumps out over here they're kind of in the way let me do that let me grind them out before I grab the next one there's park right here this will be our next one All right, I'm gonna shut the engine off because I'm running out of fuel on that thing I've been uh, using that thing quite a bit here let's go ahead and grind some of these stumps out get a few along the way maybe but it's coming together I mean look at how many trees we've got cut now and you see how this is nice and kind of flat out in here we can plow this up and make this a decent sized field right through here all until we get up close to that wood stack over there but I mean even then still it's a pretty good size area to have a field so it's a good thing to do you make money off the trees and you get a field out of it and see, that's why I wish Lone Oak uh, was a little bit flatter with their forest, because I would sure make some more fields over there, too. But it's a little bit different over there. The fields are not flat, and uh, we're going to autosave. We're going to replant the forest over there. So we're not replanting forests here. We're getting, once they're gone, they're gone. We're going to put farm fields down, and uh, that's going to be it. We'll still have trees at the homestead. But once we get done with forestry, we will be done with forestry. And then we'll just do farming. Plain old Jane farming. Row crop farming.
And the thing is, you know, as far as future investments go, we really won't need to invest in that much. Um, we don't need a forage harvester because there's not a biogas here. Um, which I don't, I don't know. I, they could have put a biogas in, and I would have done it probably. But in real life, there's not one. So I mean, I guess they're trying to keep it maybe closer to real life. I understand they put the logging areas in, and I'm glad they did. I don't mind the logging. I mean, like I said, we make money off of it, and we can clear this out. It's something to do, uh, especially when you're playing seasons until the uh, time of year comes around where we can actually work for the other farmers and FS19 is going to be pretty cool uh, so basically it has been confirmed that uh, when you do missions on the on the new FS19 when it comes out and by the way that's coming out November 20th um, if you haven't heard the mission system you can either use your own vehicles and there might not be a time limit or you can use the farmers vehicles and there might not be a time limit not sure they weren't sure which one was which um, let me get this here. you know what I could do I could get a claw hook for this thing for the telehandler and um, pick up more logs with it could do that I might try that tell you what I've got the robot turned off I wonder if I can push some of these together here maybe get in right behind here and kind of pile them up a little bit closer together yeah that might not work <laughs> I got all these stumps out here this the stumps are what is what's stopping me so yeah we'll just have to grab them one at a time here I guess I can go ahead and grind some of these out right here. But I got them away from the trailer. I thought that was the main thing, getting over here and getting these loaded. Alright, guys. We'll park this over here. So, yeah, we don't have very much right here now. Uh, what I'll probably do is... Let me zoom, can I zoom out? Nope, can't zoom out anymore. What I'll probably do... Let me come in here. Can't move these logs, right? These are fixed into place can't cut them we can't do anything these are purely decorative if I could I would sure get rid of them because we could make this field even bigger but what I'll probably do is come down on this side of the logs here and come over to the road this way over here somewhere maybe and just work around the logs like turn them like right here and I don't know if I'll do anything with this part over here. I might. It'd be nice to uh, be able to plant this with the Great Plains planter. I could do a strip over here. I could go. I could just work around all of this. You know, maybe leave this gap in between these two things. But there's a lot of space out here. Got some rocks too. Got to watch out for them. But yeah, I can plant all of this. This is there's a lot of uh, a lot of area here. I probably won't cut these trees. These trees, I don't even know if I can. Probably not. No, these are decorative only. So we're not going to be cutting these trees anyway. These go down, and these bushes actually mark where this drops off down in there. So um, we won't be cutting these trees. Mm -mm. This is kind of like quicksand, you know. I'm sinking into quicksand. Help. And we're there. Uh, yeah, this is where the gold nuggets were, so. We'll just work around that. We can cut these trees here. We'll have to work around the uh, log stack there. And then um, maybe work all the way up to the stumps there. And maybe beyond that. Maybe, maybe plant around the stumps. I don't know. Maybe we could put some trees out here and plant around them. Of course, if you put trees out here, it kind of would shade the crop and they wouldn't grow as well all right so that's that we'll uh continue loading up the logs here and um i'm gonna work on this pretty heavy i know i said i was gonna it would probably be a few days before i recorded another episode 
but I wanted to show you guys the uh, just how bad the tree situation was here. We got all these cut now. Uh, we got the telehandler if we have any more trees that are floating in the air. Hopefully there won't be any more floating in the air. And um, that way we can um, cut them down, I guess, if we need to. I haven't seen any others, but I haven't gotten that deep into the woods here. These were kind of obscured by the trees that were out here in front of them uh, and all around them. So if we do come across them, we're ready for them. All right, guys. Until next time, remember you reap what you sow. I'm going to work on this, and uh, hopefully I have a lot of it cleared out by the next time we come back, and we'll be ready to make some fields. So until next time, once again, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.